Sasha here for NetbookNews.com. We are in uh, London at the Science Museum right now and uh, we're attending the Qualcomm Innovation Day 2010. Uh, we've been just listening to uh, Paul Jacobs' keynote and finally heading over to the showroom to see some cool new devices, whether it's a Snapdragon uh, 1.5 gigahertz and maybe even the dual core one. So uh, check our videos out. He's showing us a new little front end on this developer platform. Right, so the Snapdragon development platform here. One of the features that it has is uh, the Adreno 205 GPU, which includes SVG support as well as dedicated 2D hardware. So what this is an early example of is an SVG UI, just a very, very early version. Not uh, too many, not too deep here, but basically um, it's got an auto running mode and, a, and an interactive mode that I'm obviously interacting with now. So we're just showing how some of the gradient effects of the animation is very smooth, yeah. very responsive, um, quite that spinning effect really um, has a lot of detail. It's not jerky, it's got, it's got more of a smooth uh, feel to it. Um, the, the traffic that mobile devices will create over 3G, 4G, LTE, whatever you want to name it, in, by 2014 would exceed the total traffic in one month, in one month in 2014, would exceed the overall traffic total traffic of 2008. Yeah. So that's amazing, this growth rate. Um, you should remember that's a compact air life, um, I think 100, right? And not 1000. Like, okay, it's just filming over here. It's 100, 100, yeah. <laughs> so this is running um, the Snapdragon 1 gigahertz, comes with Android, and the device that we already saw during the Mobile World Congress. As you can see, it's super thin, super light, and gives you a huge battery life. Definitely an interesting product, and actually the first smart book that finally made it to the market. Um, we also have a couple of ebook readers, and of course the most uh, popular one, the Amazon Kindle. Who doesn't know this one? And, um, over here we have the Dell Streak. We had various hands-on in the last couple of months. Our 1 gigahertz Snapdragon running, Android 1.6. As you know, we will have an update of an on Android 2.1 in October and an update to 2.2 in November. That's the Foxconn. Well, it's actually not the Foxconn tablet, but of course Foxconn is the ODM for the 7-inch tablet I'm running on the Snapdragon CPU and finally made it to the market. Um, as a so-called uh, ViewPad from ViewSonic, Taiwanese uh, manufacturer, but also an OEM, and they just released this during E for 2010 in Berlin, which was actually just a couple of uh, days ago. So if you guys think that the Samsung Galaxy Tab is too expensive, take a quick look at this ViewSonic ViewPad. It's a really competitive device. The price should be around 399 euros. Capacitive, multi-touch screen, you know, whatever you need uh, and what you're looking for in an Android tablet, the viewpoint is definitely uh, providing this. And then finally, let's head over to the URI S7, which is on sale in Austria at the moment. So you can buy it, I think it's uh, Austria Telecom A1 Telecom. It's also a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon. Uh, it's running uh, Android. I think that's 2.1 right now on this one. Only a resistive touchscreen. So for you guys that are not familiar, with a resistive touch screen. It's a little bit different to use that one, but if you know how to use it and with your nails, you know, you won't have any problems on this. It's still a pretty cool device. I think our expenses had it on pre-order for around 350 to 390 euros. Um, that expensive tablet actually Sorry, I have to be honest, you know, I'm doubting if it will be competitive to the ViewPad and to the one from the Sony. Hey, let, let, let's give people some um, some impressions about um, the new Snapdragon platforms. Means the 1.5 gigahertz yep. should be available the first device by Q1 2011, and the dual core should be available in the first half of the uh, So 1.5 gigahertz dual core. Decide for smart books, they say, but they are kind of evolving to tablets right now. So. Well, well ab absolutely, and I think it makes kind of sense. Yeah, so, what, 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 what their CEO was telling us, you know, the smart book category is now also embracing the so called tablet. Well, actually, 
That really sounds like a smart book, a temple Yeah, actually. yeah, but I would like actually love to see great designs on, on a smart book platform. A little bit go over the, the Google uh, Android stuff. Uh, we know it's not capable of everything, but right. the stuff it does, it does well. So Google marketplaces on, on uh, those devices, that's a needed, needed thing. Right now we don't see that. Toshiba and, uh, and HP both launched their devices and no marketplace yes. there. 3G, that's of course uh, uh, great on, on those. But still, smartphone doesn't seem to fly where the tablets are flying high right now. 